Oh, there ain't a mirror there. <laughs> I just realized that. We're about to do some brakes on a Jaguar XF. This is a 14 model. <coughs> All the years in between that, somewhere around in there, about the same, man. So just figure it out. But um, if they look like this, you're doing the right one. So these brakes are a pain in the ass, and we're going to show you how to do them. So it'll be less than a pain in the ass. So first thing you got to do is you got to take your wheel. All right, I got that off. All right, and once you get the wheel off, the the next step in this is let me tell you about my black friend. <laughs> Always changing brakes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get your black Super friend awesome. over here, all right, <laughs> and tell him to help you because this is some bullshit, all right. So come on, Randall, let's get over here and do these brakes. You're doing a good job. Oh, I'm doing a good job. All right, you need a nine millimeter Allen head. All right, so I got this one right here. That's gonna be the main tool you need. Get down here, there's two caps on the back. All right, you'll find these little caps in here. You wanna pull them out, they look like such. All right, you get those two caps out and you'll be able to access these, these bolts right here. And we're gonna pull them out completely once you uh, start turning on them, they will completely come out. All right, and you wanna take them all the way out just to make sure they're good. Nothing's wrong with them, but it also makes it, you gotta have them out to get the caliper off this thing. That's what they look like right there. So this nine millimeter guy, it's kinda janky, but that's what the shank looks like right there. It holds that caliper on. So we're going to remove both of those. One of them's kind of in an awkward place up here, right next to the brake line. The top hose on both sides are. So you kind of want to be careful with that. You don't want to put any extra pressure on that brake hose because you'll break it. That's just in a really bad spot. Winded at first. I'm gonna get this thing off, and then uh, once you, as you're taking it off, it'd be healthy, you know, for you to talk to your black friend. <laughs> Always eating chicken, watermelon, and biscuits. <laughs> I did not like watermelon. Actually. What? All right, hey, mate. That's that's one of my best friends, man. We just we just joking around. All right, we don't need any hate mail right now. All right, got me a little pry bar right here. You're gonna need that. Actually had some behind me, forgot about those. This thing's kind of weird. Once you get them two bolts out, go ahead and pop out that your brake piece right here. That thing will fly out. And watch out, cause it will hit you. I think it just hit my black friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we got that taken care of. Once you get that out, kind of jiggle this thing around. It's wanting to move already, but you kind of got to pull this side piece out on it, away from it to get it up and over. All right, and on the other side, I had to kind of mess with this thing for a minute to get it to move, to get it out. So basically you're compressing that caliper a little bit to pull this thing out all right just to get it off man this is kind of a a weird setup you know the way that jaguar did this thing kind of just made it difficult for the average person to do it but once you get it off this thing is all cast and it's pretty heavy you want to lay it up at the top so it's not really pulling on the brake line you can go ahead and pull your pads out as you can see, that's why we're doing brakes on it because they're kind of wore out. On your inside pad that stays inside the caliper, it's got some clips in it. All right, so that one goes back on and stays in there. 
All right, now on this style of caliper, it's kind of hard to get a brake compressing tool in here. So what I found to be easiest is a pair of Nipex. So you gotta, you gotta have some muscle to do this in your forearms, forearm strength, but you just put that Nipex in there that, and then you just compress the caliper manually by hand. Uh, so it will go in. Just like that. So that's all the way in with the caliper and compress that thing in there. So find your best way. They, they make a tool for this. Unfortunately, I don't have the tool. Um, so I just uh, do it with uh, my hands. And that's kind of why we're doing this today for my wife's friend because uh, she took it to a couple different places and they told her they couldn't do it because they didn't have the tool. Uh, they just didn't want to squeeze the thing. So you got some brake glue? No. I'm gonna just slide the inside one right back in. All right. This one needs a little bit of help. Can you grab that hammer for me, Randy? Yep, it's a little tight, so we're gonna just gonna slap it a couple times with a hammer. All right. And it'll go in there. Just like so. Make sure it's pushed all the way in. All right, we got that side in. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our inside. Since I went ahead and compressed that caliper, we're gonna stick it in there. And just like so, it'll pop right in. Make sure you put it in the right way because it only goes in one way. Once you get that done, make sure it's your brake line's not compressed. Don't twist it. And twist it up. I actually did a brake job not too long ago, and whoever did it decided to just put that on however they wanted to. So uh, once you got that done, you see it kind of just fits right back on there, slides right in. So once we got that part done, we're gonna go ahead and take our bolts and stick back in there. So we can start twisting that a little bit. Don't tighten them all the way. I'm gonna show you why here in a second. All right, we got that in there. So. Once you got that in there, leave this still a little bit loose. And the reason for that is, is we got to put this thing back in here. This is a bastard, all right? Very much so. I think we can all agree with that. So that piece, what you need to do is get one of these bottom sleeves in here first. And then you can shove the top down into it. And uh, I'll tell you, it's not fun to put it in there. All right, we got that piece in. Now we gotta go with the top. Ooh. See, it's kind of difficult. And you kind of just gotta play with it. So uh, we're gonna take a break right here. Who's your motherfucking daddy? Yeah, you got it. That's it. That didn't turn in anymore, did it either? What? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Hey guys, so now that we got this popped in, it's kind of a bastard, man. We gotta get wiggle it in, man. So now that we got that popped in, we're gonna go ahead and tighten up our caliper bolts. Get them good and snug. 58 newton meters is what those go to. This is true. Yeah, what you have for? Newton meters. <laughs> newton meters. All right, so we got them taken care of. Um, go ahead and put your plug caps back in. And then uh, you want to go also, you want to jump on your brake pedal and squeeze it a bunch of times before you get ready to take off. Because if not, you won't have no brakes and you'll drive through something. Make sure that your lines are hooked back up. All right, on your little grommets. Just make sure everything's secure up here. Nothing's rubbing or touching. Go ahead and turn the wheel back. Once you got that ready, everything's assembled. We can go ahead and assemble our wheel. Put it on, pump our brake pedals when we get in the car and we're good to go. That's how you do brakes on a Jaguar XF. Um, any questions, 
Make sure you ask your black friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dude right there. All right, we'll see y'all in the next one, man. So long, gay boys. <laughs>